Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome back to more High School Romance. Last time we finished our week with Hoshi and then got a twisted ankle when Selena decided to fall on us during a race. Graceful. Then she saw our doodle in the shower. Gasp! Today we see what comes of this predicament. Let's go. And so yeah, last time we didn't want to delay telling her because that would just make things worse. Most of the mud went down the drain along with my dignity. Oh, you're a fast changer. It's like magic. Hey, all finished? How's your ankle? Do you need any help? It's feeling a little better. Or at least I'm too bewildered and concerned to care about that right now. I'm sorry. I should probably explain what happened in there. I have actually known for a time. Gasp! Since you got here, really. Gasp! That long? Come on, you weren't in a skirt or anything when we first met, so I had a really strong suspicion anyway. Do girls in this world just always wear skirts or something? That's a bit odd. But you always called yourself a girl, so I figured you identified as one, even if you weren't born one. I was hoping you would start trusting me enough to tell me. I like you. You're pretty accepting of people. I thought maybe you were just waiting for the right moment. Oh, that's... Well, that's not entirely right. I'm actually a boy. I only pretend to be a girl so I could get into the school. Really? You wanted to come here that badly? This isn't one of those perverted things, is it? No! Really, it was actually one big mistake, but I couldn't undo it easily, so I just pretended. I don't identify as a girl, but I kind of had to impersonate being one. Really? What a weird situation. And to think I was being genuine, too, when I said you'd look cute dressed more girly. It's almost a shame. But even if I got the reason wrong, I still knew you were a male in one sense or another. Wait, so it still doesn't change your opinion? Should it? I'm pretty sure you still acted like yourself, and I like hanging out with you. What you're packing under the skirt doesn't make any difference to me. You're alright, Selena. <laughs> okay, maybe not the best choice of words. <laughs> Definitely not. You're horrible. I'm the best and you know it. I let you shower with me. That is true. Our friendship level is officially off the charts. I never really thought I'd be laughing about this with someone. At least not someone who actually went to the school. But Selena was way more understanding and perceptive than I thought. Yeah, she always seemed just into sports and not all that bright, but here we go with the high perception skills. Come on, I'll help you limp back to the dorms. I'm really sorry about your ankle, by the way. I just wanted you to get dirty and shower with me. Gasp! She did it on purpose all along. Wait, what? Getting hurt wasn't supposed to be part of it. Like I said, I thought you were waiting for the right moment. So I made the moment. Yeah, yeah, you did. And then you injured me. Thanks a lot. I hope you're not mad at me. Furious. I'm not mad at her, but why did she shut the door? Wait, why is she locking the door? Why is she closing the blinds? Oh, God. Maybe I can make it up to you? Make it up to me? What is she? Well, Shoji, are you still going to be all cute and nervous even though I know? She's so close. Yes, very close, standing way over there across the room. Is this really what she wanted the whole time? She just wanted to get in your pants. Gasp. I'm not nervous. Oh? I like this new you. But you know I'm going to make you prove it. Gasp. He's just rolling in girls, isn't he? He's got the principal that likes him. He got to spend a week with Hoshi, who ran around in her underwear around him. And now we've got Selena doing this. Holy cow, guy. Hmm. She kisses like it's a competition, too. Like she has to win something. She's winning the game of kiss. It's thrilling. Overwhelming, but thrilling. Joji. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect her to be all over me, and I can't even remember to breathe with her like this. Her fingers tangled in my hair and her back pressed against the door. How did we even get like this? It just overcame me all of a sudden. Now I can't pull away. I like it though, and there's no way I'd want it to stop. Wait, shouldn't you be thinking about the principal? I mean, you two had smoochy time and flirty time and all that, and now you're just gonna go smooching somebody else? Come on, guy, have some standards. Who knew being found out would be such a good thing? You're not a bad kisser, Shoji. 
Have you been practicing on somebody? Maybe the principal? Hmm? Anyone ever told you that before? Or am I your first real kiss? No, no, not my first. Actually, don't answer that. I don't care. I'm just going to be satisfied with being the best. You surprised me with this. Oh? I would have thought it'd be obvious. I kept trying to get your attention and everything, but you were all caught up in your act. Hmm? I wasn't sure you'd ever notice on your own. You're a bit dense like that. I'm so glad you want me like this, too. I've been hoping for this for a while, and today worked out in my favor. Hmm. I wonder if it's because all the girls are used to her advances, or if it's because he's the only guy anywhere around her. That might be true, or maybe you just like wounded guys. Or that. Or guys who wear skirts. Who knew that would come in handy? Haha. <laughs> wounded men who wear skirts. I have very specific tastes. I'm glad I fit into that category. Good. Now less talking, more kissing. Ah, uh, it stings when you nibble on my lip like that. Do you want me to stop? You know I don't. Hmm, hmm. Skirts, dresses, short shorts. What? I bet we could find a lot of things for you to wear. Wanting to play dress up now? Well, I mean, the principal already plays dress up with you, so why not? You're their plaything! Not this very moment, but if you're offering. Now come here, I'm not finished with you yet. Hmm. Well, that was eventful. Holy crap. She saw her doodle in the shower, and then we saw her lips in the room. I can't believe a student knows my real gender now. Weirdly, not much has changed. Except for the looks Selena sometimes gives me during gym. Everything is still the same. School is school, I guess, regardless of how weird the drama is. And that is some really weird drama you've got going on. But at least Selena seems cool about everything and isn't blowing your cover, so that's cool. She's alright. I still feel bad that Hoshi doesn't know, though. She's my best friend, and we spend a lot of time together, even though we don't actually see that aside from, like, lunchtime conversations. I feel like I should tell her, but I also don't want to lose her. Would she take it as well as Selena did, since Selena already knew? If I just come out and surprise her with it, I don't think it'll go over well. Yeah, but isn't Hoshi one of the smart ones in the school? I feel like she would have pretty good perception as well, and might have been able to tell that it was, uh, that what you got going on under the skirt, as Selena put it. I don't know, just a guess. Why does this have to be so difficult? It's not like I really owe it to her, but things feel really out of balance now that Selena knows and she doesn't. Oh well, I better keep it under wraps for now. That was the plan from the beginning, so it might be best to stick to it. Hey, speaking of the lunchtime conversations, also, I just noticed the lighting fixtures hanging from the ceiling. That is a lot of lights going on. Their power bill must be through the roof. I hate chemistry. Why does it have to be so difficult to understand? Here. I probably can't explain it any better, but I can try. Can I see the textbook? Sure. Wow. Oh, crap. I didn't even see that drink there. Uh, I spilled it all over her. I'm sorry, Hoshi. Is your shirt ruined? Uh, don't worry about it, guy. It's just the school uniform. I've got a dozen of them. Don't dab at it with a napkin, you idiot. What am I doing? Oh my, she's showing through. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Why do I always get so clumsy around her? You like her. <laughs> hmm? It might be rude to laugh, but you're very adorable when you panic. And you're always thinking you've done something wrong as well. That's a nice habit, because normally you have. I did spill a drink over your shirt. Yes, but I forgive you for that, because again, I've got a bunch of them, so it's whatever. But that's not entirely what you're panicking about, is it? See, now you're turning a little red around the ears. With you, that's a good sign that my assumption is usually right. So what are you hiding, hmm? Why does she have to be so perceptive? Everybody here is so surprisingly perceptive. Does the entire school know what I am? It's okay, though. I don't want you to panic. I'm comfortable with you just the way you are. Because I know. We all know. But I can clean up my shirt by myself, so don't worry about that either. Sorry. 
I guess I get flustered sometimes, especially when I act without thinking. That's alright. If you can believe it, I used to be even more awkward in junior high. I don't believe it, especially with all the throwing of books at people. You don't seem very awkward. You seem... aggressive. That's sweet, if you're honest, but I used to be really cautious. I would focus so much on attempting to say the right thing, half the time nothing came out. Oh, I can relate to that. I'm a very quiet sword in person. But I was really stressed then. And you're not now? You're a class rep and you go around doing everybody's homework for them. You're less stressed now? You always seem so busy and have so much to do. Yeah, that thing that I said. Hmm, I don't know. I suppose I just grew up a bit. My point is, you really don't have to worry about it. I don't mind it. In fact, the juice on my blouse right now feels kinda nice. It was warm in here. Don't mind what? Now, about the chemistry. You plus me equals what, exactly? It's so odd. I don't even feel like we're having conversations as just friends anymore. It's as though there was something else behind the whole conversation. Sounded pretty obvious to me. How about you, audience? Maybe Selena's just got me paranoid. I shouldn't be thinking about this anyway. I've got to pretend to know something about chemistry. Pretending? Well, that's just going to make you both fail. Shame on you. Track really wore me out today, especially with that messed up ankle of mine. I guess it was from a lack of practice while waiting for my ankle to heal. It was so hot and covered in sweat. Gross. I better shower off before- Oh, Shoji! I know you're hiding in here. You always sneak in here after everyone else has left. And now we get to shower together, all alone. But there aren't any locks on the door, so anyone at all could walk in on you. Maybe I should stand guard, hmm? Why do I get the feeling she isn't asking out of the kindness of her heart? And I love that expression of his, it's so sarcastic looking. Oh, come on. Don't look so apprehensive. I won't do anything you don't want me to. I won't even peek. Pinky swear. Are pinky swears binding contracts these days? Of course they are. But you'd better not make it if you actually want me to peek. Make signals, you know. Why would I want you to peek? You're making yourself sound like some kind of creep. Then again, I usually make myself sound like that a lot of the time. I probably can't judge. I just want to get some of the sweat off of me. Ah, well that's no fun. I'll wait out here then. Okay, thanks. Wait, what did she mean it wasn't fun? How did my life manage to get even more complicated than it already was? Now Selena waits for me in the changing room almost every day to flirt. But I don't know if it's me or if it's because there aren't any other guys here. A little from column A, a little from column B. The attention is nice, but I wonder if it would be the same if I had competition. Now I'm starting to sound like her. Not to mention, I don't know how I feel about Hoshi. Conflicted. She's so sweet and really doesn't talk much to anyone else. Over the past months, she's become my best friend. Why does this even feel like a choice between them? Because it's a dating sim and it is a choice between them. Ooh, self-aware gaming. Oh, hi. And then there's her. The one who just lets herself into my room. Doesn't knock. Nothing at all. Just shows up. Like magic. Good evening, Miss Rowan. Hello, Shoji. I hope it's not too late to be barging in like this. Well, it looks like midday or so, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not too late to be doing anything. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, it's been a whole week, and then however long it's been in school. Then again, you saw us in classes, aren't you, the coach? Haven't seen me? With Jim and Track, I see you almost every day. Yeah, that's what I said. Yes, that's true, but I don't get to really see you. Your underwear. Or in my underwear. Not in a way that counts. When do we just get to sit and have a private conversation anymore? Mm, ever since that time with the smoochies at your house. Can we go back to your house? Besides this very moment? To be honest, I've been thinking a lot about you, and wondering about the right time to approach. It made me wonder if you were ever really thinking about me. I was starting to worry you were losing interest. I am definitely interested. Just consider me interested and busy. Oh? 
I like spending time with you too. I don't know why she's complaining. It doesn't exactly feel right to take time out to talk with her. I really do enjoy her company and she's been so welcoming to me. But even if we did kiss, it's not like we're dating or anything. Yeah, you're smooching it up with everybody, aren't you? Now that I've joined track, I really don't get as much time to socialize as before. Plus, I've been studying hard to prep for entrance exams. That's really the only reason. It wasn't meant to be personal. I'm sorry if it seemed that way. Ah, it's really a relief to hear you say that, Shoji. Maybe it had been bothering me more than it should. And if that really is the case, then I hope you won't mind coming to my office. Does this count as being sent to the principal's office? Am I in trouble? Am I going to get disciplined? Not sent, just ask. I don't ask my students to the office when they're in trouble. I usually announce it over the intercom. That way everyone knows. Isn't public humiliation a little archaic? Yeah, anybody getting sent to the principal's office, even if it's for something positive, everybody's like, ooh, what'd you do? I want you to come to my office because I have some school events coming up and I'd like your input. Oh, disappointed. Me again? Helping me judge the stalls last time was a huge time saver and a lot of fun. I wasn't completely bored out of my mind, and it ended on such a good note. Well, I couldn't get it out of my head for a while. I hope you'll agree, but I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I don't want you to think I'm just using you to get work done or anything. That would be horrible. It's nice to get a fresh outsider's perspective on some things. Mm-hmm. No ulterior motives or anything like that going on. You just want me for academic purposes. Take the upcoming play, for example. A lot of girls will audition, but I think we can get a little biased on who gets the part. Popular students or ones with good grades are always seen favorably. But we might be overlooking talent, and I think you're rather unbiased. You know, being a guy, they don't really care about plays as much. Your opinion could be helpful, and I genuinely like hearing your ideas. Really? You wouldn't rather hear from a teacher or something? I like my staff, but everyone here is subordinate to me. Running a school like this can get a little lonely, I suppose. You're surrounded by people all day long, but you don't really connect that much with them. You're just seen as an authority figure and expected to make decisions for everyone. Yeah, that's pretty much the role of the principal. Everybody's just, yes ma'am, whatever you say ma'am. That's part of why I chose to become the gym teacher, and a coach too. That way at least some of the students would get to know me better than just the principal. But with what's happened between you and I in the past, the kiss, I mean. I probably shouldn't be giving it any more thought, but I started to think of our relationship as different. It's less professional and a little closer to friends. And I do like my friends. At least that's how I see it. I'm glad I'm not the only one who felt that change. Though it would have taken a lot for me to up and admit something like that. I've really rambled on, haven't I? I'm sorry. I stopped by for one simple question and this is what happens. I promise I'll get back to the point now. So, would you mind coming with me? No, I don't mind at all. I'm willing to help however I can. Ooh, suddenly we're here. It's like magic or something. Is this a school for magic people? And ninjas? And people with really high perception skills? The office looks a little different from the last time I was in here. And it'll look different next time as well, because I'm going to go ahead and cut it here for now. Sorry if this episode ends up being a little bit on the short side, but my internet kind of crapped out recently and I'm having to record this last minute, so yeah. Apologies. But anywho, this has been High School Romance. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.